Good afternoon, welcome back, loving love Mallorca. As you can see here, I'm back in Mallorca again, which I've been here since Thursday last week, and today is Tuesday. Um, I'm sorry I haven't done anything for a while, but as you know, I've had a few problems back in England. I went back to look after my aunt, who recovered after a, a fall. And then just as I was coming back here, sort of like three weeks ago, um, a family member died. So I had to go back there and help with the funeral arrangements, which were last week. So as you can see here, I'm back to normal, trying to get back back to normal as much as you can. Still with the virus, still got my mask on and everything, as you can see. Just pulled it down because it's a bit of a job to talk to here. And it's, it's um, quite hard to understand what people are saying, so I've taken it down just for the moment. Well, it's the 15th of September. It's due to the virus. It's a lot quieter than what it should be for this time of the year. I'm just going to take you down down by the um, the strip, onto the beach, down to the port, to show you what it's about, to show you what it's like at the moment. As you can see, I just come up by um, Siesta One onto the bottom of the strip. To me, it just seems like it's winter, but you know, with the um, the heat of the summer, should I say, if that makes sense to you lot. Well, I went back to Britain the beginning of July, and just before I went, a few of the cafe bars just starting to get open but within a few weeks of or a month or so after me getting back to England they started closing again well I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's just this year that's going to be written off actually I'm hoping that come next year we might start to see a little bit of normality even though it'd be the new norm kicking in just hoping that holiday makers do um, start returning because as you know, we do need the tourists to um, keep it all going. There still are a few cafes, bars and that sort of thing open around. I'm not sure how many are open because it's apart from this is as far as I've been so far since I've been back. I've just felt so tired since arriving back last week. I think it's all the, um, the feelings, the nerves and everything all um, coming out at once, aren't they? Because truly came came over for the funeral towards the end of last week so she was back for all but a week the funeral was a week ago today so it's it's really has all just come out that close there's a few of the tourist shops open up here there's three up this part of the strip itself and a few going down towards the port a lot more is open at the port, as you'll find out further on in a film. It must be so hard for the um, shop, restaurant, cafe owners, the ones that are trying to open and trying to get a little bit of money in. There's hardly anybody around. It's such a shame. So we made to the end of the strip now. More places are closed. A little um, kebab shop up the end here, that's open. So the next step is on the beach. See you on the beach guys. Well this is the beach here. The sand's just as delightful as ever. It just seems like a private beach. I've got practically the whole beach to myself. Just gonna go down and get my feet in the water.
go and have a little paddle. It feels a bit chilly, but it's, it's really quite nice actually, it's quite pleasant. So what's changed then since I last spoke to you? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, I've opened up a little merchandising shop selling uh, my items, lovely lovely York items, mugs, t-shirts, uh, masks, all things like that really with um, the Loving Life brand on them. I'm going to try and get in due course around the island making um, mugs or whatever from all different parts. I'm going to put the link to, the, to my shop page on the comments. If you'd like to go and have a look at them you're more than welcome. I'd like to hear your feedback. It's nice to see the um the beach bars all open. When you've had feet in for a paddle for a while, you adjust quite quickly to the temperatures. Last week I was down here, or the other day actually, and we're actually swimming in here. And by the time I'd finished my swim, it was cold outside what the actual water was. It's absolutely pleasant coming swimming. It's nice to see so many locals out here playing on the beach, in the sea, just making uh, use of the free time there is over at the moment where there is no work. I feel so lucky and privileged to have the opportunity to share my lives with you. There's something about the water it's splashing about, isn't it? It'd just be so much fun to go back to your childhood, though, isn't it? But the Kudia, see, it doesn't seem to matter how far you go out, you're never that far out of depth, are you? I've walked this far out so far, as you can see, and I'm only just up to my knees. company shed just there renting out boats and different things for the entertainment to go on the on the sea with. Not many people are using it are they? Of course in the winter you expect it to be quiet don't you? We often come down here in the winter months with snowy and come for a walk along here. Sometimes you get some really nice days along here. You can bring a drink and sit on the beach. You expect it to be quiet then don't you? But not in the height of the season. Where I'm heading towards the port. I just love to listen to the, the sea. I also love the patterns the sun makes on the sea. Here it's so shallow, it's getting so warm, it feels like your bath water, it's that warm to actually paddle in. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? Come down on the beach to the port, have a little drink like I normally do, and then go back up towards the apartment again. So let's just have a look around the port quickly. The first thing I notice is where the ice cream hut 
has gone. And it's very sort of naked to that part, doesn't it? Unlike normally this time of the year, plenty of taxis to choose from. I would really like to know why the ice cream hut had to go. Anyway, so that is to the entrance of the port and the end of the beach. Come and have a look with this, what it's like in the port itself. And of course, because I'm in the port again, away from the beach, I have to put the mask back on. Already I can see there's a lot more people around here and a lot more places open. Of course I made this film in the early afternoon, so come the evenings, it will get a lot busy around here with people coming to the restaurants and things. But when you think to yourself, the majority of these people here are locals, it's nice to see the locals supporting the businesses, isn't it? Because they've only got so much money to go between everyone, if you like. Since I was last down here, it must have been nine or ten weeks ago, somewhere around that, there's been a lot of um, clothes shops and things like that opening, around, especially around this part of the port, that weren't open before. Down the port, doesn't matter what time of the year you come, a lot of the time you will find a good amount of shops, restaurants and things open around here. It's worth coming here, especially to the island, because you get some beautiful weather in the winter months. And I expect a lot of people get probably to this point and probably don't investigate any further. Wonder what is they're going to find down there. However, down this direction, a little bit further down, you get some really nice cafe bars that are quite, quite cheap, quite reasonable actually. Most of them are open all year round. We've had some lovely meals down this part before. You wouldn't have dreamed about coming unless you know they're down there. So over here, this is the freight port just here. If you drive over to Mallorca, you can get a ferry that actually brings you straight here. Well, I've come to the end of my first walk after coming back. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget the Facebook page, Love and Love Mallorca. And I'll catch up with you guys for the next film. Thank you. Bye-bye.